Hi, this is Dr. Stephen Engel from the Honors Program at Georgia Southern. Welcome to SOAR. This short video is meant to provide you with some brief information about how the Honors Program works and what you can expect as an honor student here. So I want to talk about four key aspects of the program, requirements that we have for you that set you up for success. First, honors courses. Second, the honors thesis. Third, experiential learning. And fourth, grades. Let me talk about each of these in turn. So first, let me talk about courses. Honors courses at Georgia Southern are designed to provide you with an in-depth opportunity to dig into interesting subjects in a classroom with a really talented professor. In high school, you might be used to honors classes or gifted classes having double, triple the amount of work than the non-honors classes. In college, it's not about piling on the work, it's about taking a different approach, and they're designed to be different. So um, a, a class that might be a history or, or a literature class that might be primarily lecture, in an honors class, it's going to be a lot more discussion. In a science class, there's going to be a lot more hands-on in the lab than you'd see in a non-honors class. So it's really an opportunity for you. And let's hear from some of our students to talk about what it's like in an honors class. So one of my favorite things about Georgia Southern is how involved the instructors are with our education. Here, everybody knows your name. The professors, the advisors, they know your name and they know your story. It's not like you're just another box they have to check off on their list. They're always, you know, very accommodating and they make sure that everyone learns in their own way. I feel that the instructors will always kind of go out of their way to make sure that we have everything that we need to succeed in their course. With a small student to teacher ratio, you get a more one-on-one -on -one time with your teachers and you get grades back faster, which is a plus for me. Now let's turn to the second aspect of the Honors Program, the Honors Thesis. This requirement allows you to dig deep into your field of study, show off your skills to future employers and graduate schools. In uh, the traditional humanities, social sciences, and natural sciences, this is a traditional research project carried out with a faculty mentor. Uh, in the pre-professional fields like nursing or business or education, it's an applied project that improves your skills in those fields. And in the creative fields like music and art, it's a creative project. The whole idea of the thesis is to give you that extra challenge, that extra nudge to do something much more in depth in your field and be assisted on that with a faculty mentor. So that when you graduate, you've got this really impressive project to talk about and to really demonstrate your skills to future employers and graduate schools. Let's hear from some of our students about their experiences during research. Being part of the Honors Program is great because you get a ton of research opportunities. Having access to such great professors helped me in securing research with Dr. Craven on identifying food preferences of diamondback terrapins, which is crucial to help identify where conservation efforts need to be focused. It definitely adds more rigor to your education, which is really important to me because it gives me much more well-rounded background when I enter medical school. Doing honors research is really exciting because you actually get to research something that you're interested in rather than just learning what you have to learn. In my freshman year alone, I had three different professors offer me research opportunities. And that's really big when you're applying to master's programs, uh, co-ops, and careers. Um, so Georgia Southern definitely offers a plethora of research opportunities for the honors students. I'm really passionate about this topic and that's why I'm really excited to work on my honors research with it. And as part of my last requirement for my honors graduation, I am currently doing research with one of the professors in my major, and we are looking at animal-assisted therapy in communication sciences and disorders or speech therapy settings. And we actually conducted a survey and we went out and actually gathered research. And I would love to share the results with you, but I will actually be um, presenting those at the Virtual Scholarship Symposium this spring, which is another opportunity the honors program is given. Thanks. So now let me talk about the third aspect of the honors program, experiential learning. Our experiential learning requirement asks students to do one project each year outside of the classroom. In the first year, this is a service experience. After your first year, it can be more service or it can be something like leadership experiences, internships, co-ops, study abroad. Um, the whole idea of the requirement 
is to encourage you, to require you to go outside the classroom and do something interesting to develop your skills working with different populations, working on professional development on other settings. We find that most of our students do many more than one of these projects per year, but you do have to do at least one. Let's hear from some of our students about what they are doing to satisfy the experiential learning requirement. My absolute favorite thing about Georgia Southern is our Serve 912 trips that allow students to go out each week and volunteer in the community. Last year I got to go on an alternative spring break with a group of other students, a student leader, and a staff member. I, as an international studies major, have studied abroad three times. I went to France, Trinidad and Tobago, and Brazil. And it was pretty awesome because the honors program supported me the whole way. I love that our honors experiential learning encourages students to go out and get involved in our community. I can be involved in so many different things and um, be leaders in all of my different clubs and um, organizations on campus, which is something that you might not get at a big school. From being part of the university honors program, I have been able to become a peer leader, which means I was able to work with the first year seminar classes. And I was basically a mentor for incoming freshmen that were coming in and they had an upperclassman in their classroom and they could ask them questions and they get to understand what campus life is like and you know I was once a freshman I understood you know what they were going through so it was kind of nice to have that peer interaction. It's so easy to get involved on campus even if you're very antisocial, introverted there's always something for everybody. There's a lot of people who want to see you succeed and a lot of resources you have that you might not have as a regular student. Thanks. Now let's turn to that fourth topic, grades. As an honor student, you've already accustomed to keeping your grades up and will want to see that continue in college. The requirement in the honors program is that you keep a 3.3 cumulative grade point average while you're in the program. Um, should be easy. Most of our students have no problem whatsoever maintaining that grade point average, but it's a cumulative Georgia Southern grade point average that we're going to look at. We'll check every semester. If there are concerns, we'll let you know. Uh, and if you're removed from the honors program, you'll have the opportunity to appeal that removal. But really, all of these requirements that we've talked about, grades, experiential learning, the thesis and the classes, are meant to help you succeed and achieve the goals that you want to achieve. And we've got a set of people on the university and in the honors program to help you achieve those goals. At the university broadly, there's advisors, the Academic Success Center, librarians, a whole set of support network to make sure our students are doing well. In the honors program, we have a team both in Statesboro and on the Armstrong campus in Savannah dedicated just to honor student success. That we wanna see students like you thrive engage the, all the opportunities on the campus and propel into the future and become outstanding alumni of just Georgia Southern University. To hear about some of the great support network and the people that we have, um, let's hear from some of our students. What is the best part of the honors program? Is it the research you get to do? Is it the classes you get to take? Is it the scheduling that you have? And on top of all that, it's the people. My people help me. So surrounding yourself with positive people is definitely a plus, and that's easy to find at Georgia Southern University. For me, the best part about living in the Honors LLC was forming lifelong friendships with positive influences. I, coming into college, didn't think I'd find anybody who liked K-pop and video games and anime like I did, but I got on my involvement and I found a group of people that actually started a K-pop committee. And because of that committee, I found some of my best friends that I have, and I'm actually a promotions officer for that club. Another thing I love about Georgia Southern is feeling like I matter rather than just feeling like a number. It feels really good to know that there are some faculty and staff out there in the honors program who really want to see me succeed, not only in school, but in my own life. And I really, really appreciate that about the honors program. Thanks for your time. Looking forward to see you on campus in the fall. If you have more questions, there's a lot more detail about the program, the requirements, the opportunities on our website georgiasouthern.edu slash honors. Uh, but you can also email us. Uh, you've seen our staff pictures and you can find our email addresses on the website. So we, we look forward to hearing from you over the summer or seeing you on campus in the fall. Thank you.